Hello everyone and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies Cataclystic Expansion. Today we are going to be starting our conquest game using this mod and I am so excited. I am I like I am so hyped. We went with the towers because I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do um, for this campaign, kind of how our playstyle. It's going to be very different. Um, so, uh, we also went with Troutbeck as our name, and that's our coat of arms. We're going to be playing on hard with a large map. So let's jump straight in. All right, so first things first, uh, here is our city right here. Um, we've got merchants and pirates, merchants, a company of merchant guild has set up their base here, improve local trade as they are outside the party. So going on the world of Philippines in this camp would hurt our reputation, but it would provide a substantial amount of loot, so we wanna keep that. Um, that's actually a positive buff. Uh, again, I don't know how much of this is uh, from the mod and how much of it is actually just new stuff added in to the game. So, either way, we're making a, a decent amount Empire Details. So, um, yeah. So we have our budget. Our city is 65, defense, maintenance, spy network, our total. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess we're making some money from somewhere else. Uh, so we're going to take a look at our ship. Um, let me see. We fit. So we have a deck gun and a cannon. So this is this is interesting. Pretty cool design. Let lay it in with copper framed wire. So that uh, yeah, I'm not sure. And then we've got a sail. Okay. So it's actually uh, interesting. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to open up our defenses. Right. So we're getting bonus income from this stuff. So let's see what this is. Refit white lookout. Okay, so we have a dorsal trigun, octo rifle, an octo rifle, and then we've got structural brace, structural brace, especially to reduce structural strain on ships and buildings by providing a rigid but flexible support. Any adjacent modules would gain a boon to its integrity. And we have an elevator right there, and strutting, uh, mission trees. Pro <clears throat> that are not big enough for proper kills. Cast iron struts. Steady structural reinforcement. Increase ship HP by a few. Huh. All right, door, building door. What do you want? It's a normal door. You can walk through it and you can open it. You can close it. It's a door. All right, so that actually looks like a pretty good design. Um, we do have a farm and trees. Um,. I think for the first part, we're going to move this forward. We're going to keep this stuff back because we really don't want to have to. I'd rather, if we're not, that stuff's not in danger. Um, so we're going to open designs. And it doesn't look like there are actually any designs for buildings. Um, but we will check our commerce. And generate it's 12. Um, how much money do we have? We don't have a ton, so we're going to just do another food farm. Is isn't so much. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Maybe we can't build this stuff. Maybe this is... reasons that's interesting maybe it's yeah, maybe we can't build these maybe these are just buildings that come with the cities that's interesting either way we are going to go ahead and design some actual uh, ocean don't need that um, don't necessarily need that so we're going to start with structural Foundation, sturdy ground foundation to anchor your buildings down in the ground. So we're going to 
to keep in mind how much this is going to cost. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't know if we'll actually design anything quite just yet. I think we're gonna just leave. Um I do oh wait, no no, hold on. Move. I do wanna move you to here. Yeah, and then we're gonna leave. And then we're gonna build a ship. And we're actually gonna build one of these. Let's see. Um A nice single seater catapult. See, because we want some really cheap stuff. We've got to see how we can. So yeah, we're going to design a ship. We're going to open design. Open the buzzer first. Underhang, dust balloon, hanging propeller, gunner turret. Okay. Open design. We're going to just go through and kind of see what all of these are made out of. So we've got a mech front, the reinforced front part of the mech. Contains a weapon package armed with incendiary rifle rounds. Mechanized single seater compact package of engine, propeller. Back part of the motor. Three cool needs a lot of micromanagement. Okay, and then we're going to open up one more. And we're going to see how. The tadpole looks. Tadpole housing unit. The central sphere part of a tadpole houses the inbuilt combustion engine and the necessary components to find its target. These include a pre-programmed code, code wheel, and works like a music box. A deadly self-guided weaponized music box, but because it's an uh, it's a unmanned up, you will need other ships to be around to claim victory of the battle. Gotcha, tadpole ship. Okay, so it looks like the tadpoles are going to be like a boarding ship, possibly. And last but not least, the unicycle. Make guys use scales. Pure madness. And then. Okay, so. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to go ahead and build some ships. Going to go with some of the cheap ones. Like, for example, a unicycle. Build ship, and we're going to get several of the unicycles. Maintenance is five. Build ship. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in and build an actual. Um, no, we're going to go with a buzzer. We're going to go with a couple buzzers. All right, quite a lot going around, going on. We're going to build a ship. Again, we're gonna, it's going to be a buzzer. And then we're going to attack YS. Here we go. A fire caused by foreign agent destroyed the Radiant Fortress at Trotbeck. There goes our food farm, which is not good. Build a building. Hmm. Oh well, not much we can do there. It's going to hurt our income some. We can get back there. Fire caused by the. So, yeah, there goes all of our buildings. Awesome. So, we lost all of our economic stuff. Great. That's just great. All right. It's going to be relatively. Pretty low service ceiling, but that's fine. Get you down there, and now we're gonna go ahead and start.
Oh, those things are fast. Take over your take over. Holding sieges in your empire. Relatively small but mobile force. That's kind of the game plan here. Yep, you go back. See, their fleet's pretty slow. Looks like they might have the mod might have rebalanced some stuff in terms of uh, fleet speeds. So where like smaller fleets with smaller ships are actually faster. Um, but again, I'm not sure how much of this is from the game and how much is actual fit. Wind tower, uh, we're going to leave. And we're going to just do... I guess that's actually is okay. Huh, so that's interesting. So it looks like the... Yeah, so it looks like the stuff has to be attached to an actual building. So that's what I was doing wrong when I was trying to build them. Gonna go ahead and build another ship. Um, huh. Gonna go ahead and go with the Achilles Mark II. Get that started. Not gonna be done in time. Got a foreign spy traveling to sabotage construction traffic. Okay. Let's see what kind of fleet they got. Okay, they got a decent sized fleet. So they got one, that's a decent sized ship. Renown. That thing's gonna let's see, they have one that's actually utilizing the mod. So we're going to back up, and you guys are going to, you're going to be sort of our attack fleet here. You guys, I want you guys to focus on that, and you guys focus on that as well. You need to focus on that. You need to focus on that. Yeah, there we go. speed up so yeah looks like the really small ships are actually really good which is nice um, I mean I guess that's nice uh, I also think it, it does look like the mods also gonna does do quite a bit of stuff to improve okay looks like the mod also does a fair amount of get there in time so that might just be a lost cause we're not gonna get there in time ah uh, we might build no no way I mean, it might get lucky but I think it's kind of unlikely Shoot at him, shoot at him. 
Oh well, we'll just see how long it takes. We might get lucky. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win. Alright, so, yeah, we lost, but kind of to be expected. So, we got our Achilles being produced right there. The guys in the north are potentially going to be a big threat fairly soon. So, we're going to go ahead and do a building. So, yeah, we got our Achilles. That, and did lose one of those, so we will switch that around. Um, so first off, we're going to actually repair that, and once we get that repaired, we're going to immediately build another um, unicycle. And next up, I think what we'll do, I think we will probably go in and beef up our defenses some. So we're going to go ahead and design a building. It might take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I will be back to show you what I come up with. All right, so this is what I came up with. It's just a gun line. I took a bunch of the just gunner turrets, which you can just place independently, and we did, like, basically, yeah, just a gun line. So we're going to have those added to our defenses. I don't know how effective they are, but we decided to go ahead and construct them. So now we're going to go back into defenses, and you can kind of see what that looks like when it's finished. Um, we're now going to go ahead and design a building. Um, I want, where's the upper deal? So, I will be right back with a new building. Okay, guys, well, uh, the game, well, it didn't crash. That was weird. I was trying, I was in the middle of building a new building type, and it didn't like what I did, or for some reason. Um, so, I, it sent, it basically sent me to the main, to the title screen, like, the, you know, the main menu of the game. So, thankfully, I do have this autosave, but this is actually back when we had our, we're still constructing our Achilles. So, I'm not sure what's, uh, what was up with that. Um, just to be safe, I'm actually going to go out of the game. Um, oh, not out of the game. I'm going to go out of the conquest. I'm going to save it here. I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to design a, a, a variety of different buildings and maybe some airships as well. Um, and, and once that's done, I'm actually going to come back into the game because I think it might be something to do with trying to design it while I'm in game. And also, if it is an issue with like trying to place certain components or something like that, it could be have something to do with that. Um, if that is the issue, then at least I won't lose any progress in the conquest. I'll just, you know, worst case scenario, I lose a building or something like that. Uh, either way, uh, that's all the time for this episode. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut things off here. And when I come back next episode, I'll actually, actually next episode will probably just be a showcase of a bunch of different designs I come up with utilizing a lot of the Catalyst expansion stuff. Either way, this mod is really awesome and very extensive. Um, I can't really like say anything else about what I think about it because it's so much to take in. So hopefully next video when I actually have had a time to kind of sit down and design some stuff, you guys will actually be able to get a better idea of what the mod is and also I'll be able to maybe talk some more about it. But either way, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check back for more and as always, till next time.